Good morning, you guys, and welcome to my updated morning routine. A lot has changed since we moved to Florida, but I always, always make sure to start my morning with my probiotic and some oil pulling. So I swish for about 20 minutes. It's amazing for combating cavities, giving you a brighter, whiter smile and better breath. I'll jump back in bed while I'm oil pulling, check my phone, feed the kiddos, and just enjoy the beautiful morning light in the sunshine state. So after that, I will change diapers. I fully intend on making a cloth diapering video for you guys, I am loving it. Then I will spit out my oil pulling, I'll use my tongue scraper and brush with my homemade two ingredient whitening toothpaste. Then I will dive right into my Osea Malibu skincare routine using their toning mist, the Hyaluronic C Serum and their brand new Ocean Eyes Serum, which has been a huge favorite of mine and a game changer because I've noticed a reduction in fine lines. It's also great for dark circles, crow's feet, and eye puffiness. I also love the cooling rollerball applicator that instantly hydrates and refreshes my entire eye area. You guys know you can always check the description below for that Osea discount. Thank you to Osea for sponsoring this video. Then I'll hydrate with 32 ounces of filtered, structured, and pH balanced water. I also fill up my water bottle for my workout and I add in Sun Warrior Liquid Light Minerals because I find it so hydrating and refreshing. Next up, it's time to get in a little bit of quiet time. Sometimes the kids sleep through this and I'm able to get this far without them waking up, but most mornings I am reading my Psalms or reading my Bible app with the kiddos, which is totally fine too. I love to model this for them and I find it's a perfect way to start the day peacefully. So after we get in our sunshine and scripture, then it is finally time to make some breakfast for everybody. Almost every day involves some sort of oat recipe as well as a smoothie recipe and fresh fruit. Today I'm making baked berry oats. Max calls these his birthday cake oats because they are that good. So you guys have to check them out. They are in the meal planner. And we are also enjoying some watermelon, which we just found at a local stand. It is insanely good. Welcome to summer in Florida. <laughs> Next up, everybody gets their supplements for the morning. That has changed a little bit for me and I will share more about that in my little sit down chat next. I'm making my wild blueberry mango green smoothie today with some barley grass juice powder added in. And while it may seem like a lot has stayed the same, a lot has changed as well. And I guess that comes with the territory of living in a new state. I feel like I'm also in a new state of mind and I'm really excited to sit down with you guys and talk more about that. Liv is fast approaching one year old. In fact, she'll probably be one by the next video you guys see. We can't wait to celebrate with family coming to visit. She's been on a smoothie kick lately and she's been loving our green smoothies. So if a baby can enjoy our recipes, you guys can too. Like I said, you can always find our meal planner linked below in the description. That's it, and now it's time to sweat. Well you guys, that is it. 30 minutes drenched, dripping. It is probably close to 100 degrees with the heat index plus the humidity but it feels so good. So some days I work out in the air conditioning, but a lot of days I've been enjoying the sweat. I just go a little bit lower intensity for a shorter duration, get a better sweat, and it's great. So we're about to head out for our first day trip to the beach, and I packed some snacks. We've got veggie sticks and guac, homemade superfood brownies with some dates. We've got Mary's Gone crackers. These are our favorite crackers. They're so loaded with healthy omega-3s. I packed a couple of these organic scout bars and a whole bunch of berries, grapes, and kiwis, and that should hold us over. Okay, you guys, beach day, and both kids fell asleep, and I am absolutely starving, so eating some tacos in the car. Found this really cool little street taco place. They whipped me up some vegan tacos. Kids nap, Erin gets some work done on her phone. I eat, now beach. Made it here just in time to use the ocean as our bathroom. <laughs> We're gonna set up shop and get out some snacks and catch some rays. This is our first daytime experience at the beach since we moved here. We've made it for a couple sunsets, but we're excited to actually get in the water. Nothing but the road before us now See 
the hot yellow sun light up the clouds We can park the car beside the beach Start a little fire and share a drink Underneath the stars we learn to dream I thought this would be the perfect time to not only share with you my freshened up morning routine, but also to share with you the top seven things that have significantly changed for me as of late. Mainly they're in the categories of eat, move, and rest and how I've been doing things differently for no other reason than just because we moved and it feels like a good time to freshen up and reset and just to get reinvigorated and excited to try some new things and experiment and see how my body responds. So number one, the biggest change is obviously the new landscape. We are in Florida now, we're in the tropics, and it is very hot and very humid, but not different from Nebraska summers back home, although I can tell that the sun just hits harder. So you have to squint a lot more and wear a hat a lot more often, keep the sunglasses on, and workouts have been insanely sweaty. So. Florida, we've been loving it. We've been searching for new grocery stores, co-ops, farmers markets, and we're still trying to fill that out because back home we were about five minutes from Whole Foods and it was a quick, simple fix. It had everything we needed. Here we've been kind of bouncing around. We haven't really found exactly what we want yet, but we are definitely gonna explore the mango picking orchard nearby and we're gonna check out some farmers markets pretty soon here. I did find a local co-op called Earth Origins, which is super cool. They have a lot of great stuff. So that's the biggest change. Number two, I would say is in the eat category. So I would no longer consider myself to be raw till four. So I would say this has been a gradual transition over the past years since becoming a mom. My body just started to crave oats mainly during the day so oatmeal for breakfast or now I'm making baked berry oats waffles pancakes so many good recipes that being said I'm still eating a ton of raw foods fresh smoothies and juices every single day that has never changed I'm still eating lots of fresh berries and tropical fruits and raw rainbow salads but I'm just not too hard on myself about enjoying some baked berry oatmeal or cherry chocolate oats with the kids in the morning since I'm making it for them anyways. So I think that kind of comes with the territory of becoming a mom for two reasons. Number one, oats are great for lactation. Your body just kind of wants them. They're higher in protein and iron. And two, if I'm making it for the kids and Dusty, I'm gonna enjoy it. So 
that's been a big change for me and I would encourage you guys that if you are hard on yourselves about wanting to be fully raw or raw till four, just to listen to your body and to realize that these foods are still super, super healthful and you don't have to be all black and white, all in or all out, but to just kind of be more carefree and free flowing with yourself and enjoy these foods. Number three is working on the book. So a big part of working on the book is recipe creation and development and styling and photography and writing. So going back to not being as much on the raw till four train anymore, that actually has come in handy because making this book has required a lot of recipe testing and tasting. So a lot of these foods, like I said, are cooked foods and it's been such a joy though because it has helped me to tap back into my creative side, back to my food blogging days. I'm starting to do it all over again and I'm super excited not just to have it come together in the book, but also for after the fact to start blogging more again and sharing more of these delicious food style recipes with you guys. So it has been an absolute joy. And after that I would say move, number four. The way I work out and move has changed quite a bit. So yes, the heat is similar to back home, but like I said, it just feels like it's a notch above because the sun is just hitting harder since we're closer to the equator. So I've been working out in the garage quite a bit and outside quite a bit. I've done a few indoor air conditioned workouts, but I gotta say, I really love the heat because I've been sweating so good and I love it. I know people are mixed on this. Some people like to work out in air conditioning. Some people like to sweat. But I was almost to the point of convincing Dusty that we needed an infrared sauna to work out in. And he said, you know what? We're going to be in Florida. You might be surprised. We probably won't need a sauna. You're not going to want to go sit in a hot room in a hot climate. And he was absolutely right. So working out in the garage with the high, high heat and sweating literal buckets, like it looks like I just got out of the pool in my clothing, drenched means that I've been going at a little bit lower intensity for a little bit less time. I've been doing less extreme cardio, less running, which has kind of been the case for a while, but focusing even more on just lifting weights, doing resistance and body resistance training, um, and then also going for a shorter duration. Whereas before I was going, working out for about 50 to 60 minutes back home, now I'm kind of more to 35, 40 minutes, and then I am toast and we have a swimming pool out back, so the nice thing is when I'm dripping in sweat, I jump in there, I do my stretching and cooling down there afterwards, and it has been like the perfect balance between hot and cold, which I've really been enjoying, that kind of like yin and yang. Number five is rest. So we have kind of decided we're gonna develop a sitting space slash altar slash worship station here in our house a dedicated space where in the morning or any time of day we can go to kind of recalibrate and we reset so prayer worship meditation journaling breath work all of these things are going to take place in a specific space and we want it to be somewhere that's very free and life-giving where we can see the sun and see the beautiful greenery and I'm really excited because I've been inspired by this book called Making Space by Thich Nhat Han. You guys will have to check it out. It's only 60 minutes. It's on Audible. Dusty shared it with me and I'm almost done with it and it has been such a game changer. So it really helps you as a family or as a couple or even as an individual to just learn better how to meditate, how to make space, how to basically um, reset. So I got these cool bells on Amazon. This is a part of the book. There's a whole chapter on the significance of using the bells to kind of reset um, when things start to get heated and argument takes place. Um, there's a lot of practices that um, they run through. And then another thing is I'm gonna use all of my alabaster books of the Bible and I'm gonna set a different one out from time to time that we can refer to, read out loud, or read to ourselves first thing in the morning. It's very engaging. I love these because they're just so beautifully put together. It just like helps me to want to read the Bible more. Number six is skincare. So I had told Dusty before we left Nebraska, when we get to Florida, I'm so excited to not have cold winters with dry, cracked, chapped skin anymore. But at the same time, I, while I do love the humidity here, like I said, the sun is just so much hotter and stronger. So I know that I'm gonna have to be more careful with like wearing hats and sunglasses and shielding my skin to 
avoid getting so much sun damage. So the main thing I've been doing is ramping up my Osea skincare regimen, making sure that I do stay consistent with my routines, morning, noon, and night, and just always applying everything for proper hydration and protection. I've also been using a red light wand. You guys know we love red light therapy. I have this small wand that I've been using religiously which I think is the key for any type of skincare regimen or practice, no matter what it is, is to stay very consistent. The only way it's gonna work for you is if you work it. So work the system, whatever it is you're doing. So I've been very religious with these skincare practices, and I've also been focused on helping my varicose veins. When I was pregnant with Max, I got some varicose veins that popped out, and they went away when I gave birth. Pretty much gone completely. And then with Liv, they came back again, after I gave birth, it has taken quite some time for them to go down completely, and while they're not raised anymore, they're still blue. So I've been trying different natural remedies. Right now I'm using this oil, applying it morning and night. If you guys have any natural remedies that have actually worked for you, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know if anything has helped you with postpartum varicose and spider veins. The last thing that has changed is my experimenting with different vitamins. So while I was on a prenatal for a significant period of time, I have since quit that. I started it when I was pregnant with Max and per my midwife's recommendation, I continued on it as long as I was breastfeeding, which was pretty much until I got pregnant with Liv and then the cycle started over again. So I've been on this prenatal multivitamin for so long and I quit because I just felt like I didn't need all of that stuff and now I'm kind of experimenting. So there are several amazing supplements out there. We absolutely love Compliment and Sun Warrior. So some days I will use the Compliment capsules, other days I will use the Sun Warrior Vitamin Mineral Rush, as well as the Liquid Light Minerals. So I've just been kind of fluid with things, and then there are days where I'll use just my individual droppers and sprays, but I feel like I don't need the Vitamin D as much here, which is why I've been like, I just feel so nourished here. So I haven't felt like I've needed like the full spectrum of vitamins, especially in the summer when there's such a variety of abundance when it comes to fruits and vegetables in season. So I've just been kind of listening to my body, experimenting a little bit more, and staying on top of that B12 will remain consistent for the duration of my life. I think it's huge that everyone stay on that, as well as the omega-3s. And other than that, like I said, I'm just kind of being more fluid and trying things out, just making sure to really be focused on nutrition first and foremost when it comes to like eating healthy whole plant foods in abundance. And another thing I've been interested in, if you guys have any helpful tips or tricks on this is plant-based sources of collagen promoting foods. So we do have lots of Sun Warrior collagen protein and other supplements from them. I'm also curious to find out more about like, I know vitamin C helps to boost our natural collagen production. So being that I'm in my mid thirties, it's of course important to me to stay on top of things to help me age gracefully. So if you guys have any tips or tricks as far as things that have helped your skin, I do know that my Osea regimen and adhering to a better skincare routine has helped tremendously. I've been a huge believer in their new Ocean Eyes Serum just because it feels so refreshing and I can tell as soon as I put that on, my eyes just feel more awake and more wide and there's less puffiness, less bags and less fine lines and wrinkles so I'm really loving that new product and I know you guys are going to love it too. So if you like this video, if you want to see more like it, let me know in the comments, leave me some love. For any of the brands or products I've mentioned, as always, you can check the links in the description. There are discount codes down there for you guys as well. Definitely be sure to check out Osea and get your hands on their latest Ocean Eyes Serum. It's incredible. So until next time, I'll keep you guys posted. We'll check in soon with another what we eat in a day or what the kids eat in a day. Let us know what you'd like to see going forward. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.